big part in the future of the bracket as, as both players are ready. It's going to be Bowser versus Pichu. And, you know, I've seen, uh, you know, Leon struggle in the past in this matchup. I think back to, uh, I believe it was one of the early glitches in 2020, or the glitch in 2020, where, uh, you know, uh, Leon lost to uh, Void's Pichu. You know, Void hadn't played Pichu in a while, but, you know, taking advantage of the fact it's like, hey, like, if you're going to kill me at, at, you know, 60, I'm going to try to kill you at 60 alongside me. So. You know, we, we've seen this be a, a, a thorn in his mat in his side in the past, so let's see if the cat can uh, generate that same sort of result here. Nothing like a little mutually assured destruction, eh, Koopa? But I could have said it better myself, Stu. <laughs> absolutely. But yeah, no, this is the same pool as uh, Nixie and Beast. They're going to be fighting for each other. Uh, they're going to be fighting for that knockout spot. Leon, uh, well, I mean, King Koopa for a reason. They've had a great wow. showing, but the cat. Proving just how dangerous this matchup can be. At 30%, they are going to take the first stock off of the PGR Bowser. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of that 30% was like half self-inflicted. You know, Leon really hasn't been able to generate uh, any sort of offense here. Obviously, Bowser, you know, uh, is the king and only <laughs> needed to hit you like five or six times, you know, before generating uh, a stock. And, you know, now Leon has done a, a really solid job of getting themselves back you know, within arm's reach, but again, the cat is definitely willing to take the trades here if it means adding more damage on and uh, extending his lead here. The cat trying to take advantage of the situation that they have, that back air, going to take the second stock off of Leon, and I mean, Leon just looking for answers right now, just getting annoyed to death, quite literally, twice in front of our very eyes. Yes. Side B uh, will connect right there. So, you know, the cat going to drop that first stock. But again, it's generated a, a really solid solid lead here. Like we mentioned at the top, you know, Pichu is, uh, you know, so good against these bigger characters. And, you know, despite the fact that the cat might drop a stock early here, uh, you know, there's uh, the risk of that, you know, always happening. Uh, definitely willing to take it if it means, you know, being able to uh, erase these stocks from the heaviest character in the game with ease. Yeah, trying to get that shield down to uh, an even smaller size. I mean, Pichu's pretty small, I get that, but yeah, you can only do so much there. And that thing was a Skittle, more or less, at the end. But yeah. Leon, <laughs> looking for that looking for that grab. Oh yeah, you know exactly what the play is. Just make sure that uh, Pichu does not feel safe in shield at all. Grab through it, utilize what may well be the best command grab in the game, depending on who you ask, I suppose. And yeah. Oh, trying to take advantage of that recovery to center stage. We'll be able to do so eventually, but not to the tune of a stock take just yet. Wow. All it took was a couple of seconds. I had to speak it into existence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and again, uh, you know, credit to Leon for, you know, mounting the comeback here as the cat is uh, now on their final stock. But, you know, definitely still within uh, a prime position here. Uh, again, especially in, you know, regards to edge guarding and, and stuff, you know, uh, Bowser's going to have a much harder time you know, getting back to the ledge uh, against Pichu. But uh, let's see if that's going to phase Leon here. He's doing a really good job, uh, you know, getting the grabs uh, necessary here to, you know, keep themselves in it. The grab. Yeah, you're not the only one who can grab Bowser and the cat, making sure of that and trying to take advantage of this lead that they have. They're being left all the room that they could possibly need. Oh, and they just no. sat on the last bits of hope that Nakat had. That is a reverse three stock from the King wow. Koopa from North Brunswick. Leon from Space Station Gaming. My goodness, Koopa, that was a comeback and a half. Yeah, listen, that's the, you know, the risk of uh, you know, the double-edged sword of playing Pichu, man. You know, for every, you know, high offensive, you know, output you can provide, uh, you know, there's always the risk of that. Yeah, you know, sometimes you're just going <laughs> to uh, die really early because, you know, you're one of the lightest characters in the game and your up B doesn't have a hitbox on it. So it's, it's much, you know, you see people much more willing to engage with Pichu, uh, you know, on, at the ledge, uh, knowing that there's a possibility that it's like, yeah, you could probably, you know, uh, you know, catch Pichu's uh, recovery, but going to FD here, great stage choice from the cat. You know, just going to be a lot less places for Leon to hide. Uh, you know, in uh, disadvantage, so uh, it's going to be a lot rougher for Leon to you know land on the stage without having to reset from the ledge. So you know, let's see if the counter trick works out. Oh. There you go, Leon. Going to win that. Uh, Going to win stage control, but the cat getting it right back and. 
Oh, man, that is just a bad position to be in. The cat doing so well to earn that stock <laughs> right off of the Angel platform. I mean, I think the cat is just going to have to take that. They work really yeah. hard to get that first stock. And you got to think that the mental advantage is in the, the corner of the cat. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how, what the second stock has in store. And again, right, like we mentioned, you know, Leon's not going to be able to, you know, land as freely on the ground. And great catch with the high, with the thunder uh, from the cat as Leon going to be brought down to his uh, last stock very quickly here. You know, very fast-paced game on FD. And again, the thunder jolts. AKA how I win neutral by the cat. Oh my and gosh. yeah, Leon, well, Leon with uh, quite the rebuttal in their own right. Yeah, no, for sure. And again, uh, you know, Bowser's side B is so devastatingly strong. And Leon, again, forced to go back to the ledge, you know, does not want any part of the cat, you know, uh, you know grabbing him, potentially getting a big follow up out of it. As again, the cat gets the aforementioned grab and a great reset with the down air and still keeping the string going right now. Leon has to be very, very careful here. Bowser. Jumping in. Oh, Pichu. Gonna fight right back. Back air gonna send Leon off the stage. This could well be in a cat's moment to strike. Looking for it, but invincibility at ledge is a thing. It seemed a little bit more hopeful than anything else. If it came out maybe a few frames sooner, I don't know. Uh-oh. Guess does regular get up right in front of his face. Goes for the up throw. Leon gives him the air dodge, but the cat not in a position to get a follow-up. Bowser is angry. This is not oh good. Oh, no! This is not good! Oh, but reading and doing just enough. Nakat survives. And, yeah, you saw Nakat tensing up. I don't quite blame him. <laughs> yeah. That Bowser was living for an awful long time. Yeah, and listen, you saw on that, on that last stock, I feel like Leon was probably anticipating a spot dodge up close from the cat, probably anticipating, you know, uh, it's like, okay, I'm this close to Bowser. He's done a really good job of grabbing me the entire set. So, you know, the cat rightfully going for the shield. In that position, both players again showing the uh, you know the the respect both these players have from each other. Both you know uh, formerly top 30 players in the world. You know, and that first uh, I believe it was the fall uh, PGR uh, that they were both ranked on. Uh, nonetheless, though, uh, let's see what uh, this final game has in store here. Town and City is going to be Leon's counter pick, and you know, uh, again, high ceiling. You know, going to do a uh, you know a, a good job at vertical uh, you know durability, and also these uh, added platforms on the side. Uh, you know, is going to do a great job at assisting Bowser in killing Pichu even earlier off the top. So, you know, you mentioned, oh, my God. oh and that tilt on the ledge. How about a zero to death to start things off? Leon, if you remember the surprise, that coming out party that they had at Smash and Splash 2019, yep. where they were introduced to the world, so many upsets. People were like, what on earth is this Bowser? And finishing ninth eventually, the cat finishing seventh at that very tournament. Tri-State making so much noise yep. all in all at Wisconsin Dells. And as they're going to be looking to make some noise going towards the future. Oh my God. Leon is making an absolutely seismic impact. 2-0 to deaths! Yeah, not getting hit until the third stock is not how you want to start out the third game here, uh, Stu. But again, we've seen, uh, you know, comebacks mounted uh, in the past, and Pichu definitely has the firepower to do so. But, you know, let's see if the cat is able to, you know, pull that off right now. A great little string to start. Trying to get a lightning loop, but Leon, uh, you know, uh, falling out of it. Leon at only 64%. Okay, it's climbing now, but you're going to notice all three of those stocks are still there. And the cat trying to make quick work of this uh, of this first one. There's only so much you can do. This Bowser so practiced, and when they they have that killer instinct, oh, they, no, they man. really just tried to do that. <laughs> Unreal, Leon. Come on. All right, could be looking for it either way. It's gonna be the drop kick that winds up finishing the job. And how about that?